Hello folks, well I just finished the morning's training session on the uh, ski trainer and today we're going to be talking about skills required, skills and experience required for the pole. Um, as mentioned in a previous video, um, basically I researched by Google and many many companies who run um, the expedition courses to go to the South Pole and from that I then made a list of the certain skills that I required. Uh, I was actually very fortunate, however, that AALE, who are the logistics company for the South Pole, uh, they pretty much run the logistics on the, on the entire South Pole, have a very, very good list of all the skills and experience you need. It's not definitive, but it's pretty good. So what sort of skills do I need for this? Well, I need cross-country skiing, obviously, because that's what I'll be doing most of the time. Camping in the snow, that sounds really strange, but it's very, very different than camping uh, generally. Uh, just being experience of being in sub-zero temperatures it's going to get down to minus 30 pretty regularly and then if the wind chill comes in you can take that way way lower than that quite easily and you've got to be in that you're not just surviving in that you're skiing uh you're putting it in your tent you're living in that for a long long time navigation is via compass and gps now compass i have no problems with gps i've never actually used gps people might be surprised with the expeditions i've done but i've never touched a gps so that's something i'm definitely gonna to have to get up to skills with uh, things like first aid training, and um, I've done lots of that over my time through my skiing um, and other things, um, but I need to get up to scratch with that. The communication side, um, on the general general expeditions I've been on, most of the communication has been held by the guides that are on the trip. I've generally not been involved with that apart from general social media, but if it, in emergencies, I haven't generally been involved. So that's going to be quite, a, quite a, a, an area I'm going to have to get up to scratch with. Polar training generally, just being on the pole. It's 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 pretty pretty intense out there. Um, the experience, I've got to go to the cold temperatures a lot to get the experience. Now, obviously, I've been on things like McKinley um, and Everest and things like that, which are really, really cold. But it's living in those conditions for a long, long time, which I've done on Everest for six, seven, eight weeks, however long it was. It was a long, long, long time. Um, but it's just getting used to them. Uh, solo expedition because it is solo this expedition I need a lot of time um, and experience of doing this on my own there's one thing in having colleagues around you when something goes wrong but when something goes wrong and you're on your own it's a whole different ball game crevasse rescue and skills now the south pole does have crevasses not half as many problems as the north pole um, but it does have a lot of crevasses now crevasse training I've done a lot of uh, when I was up on uh, Denali um, but that said it's about getting around the crevasses, seeing where the crevasses are so you don't fall into one if you possibly can. If you do fall into one, you need the skills to get back out. But realistically, if you, it's far, far better to not fall into one in the first place so you understand the terrain to make sure you don't go in one and you go around it. And finally, the physical training, which you're aware of, you've seen a couple of videos already. They're the sort of list of things that I need to do. Now, as I said, this list came from myself researching different companies, having Zoom calls with people who own these companies, talking about the relevant training courses, and then I actually, as I say, ALE, who are the main sort of logistics company for the South Pole, sent me a really good list as well. This list isn't definitive, but they're the sort of skills I need. So I've got a lot of skills to learn. And so when people think you go to the South Pole, there's a hell of a lot to learn. So I'm going to be ticking all these off as I go and making sure the training that I'm doing fits into this. And I'm not doing a lot of training courses that don't actually do what I need to do. The training courses really need to do exactly what I need to do. So that's a bit of an overview of the type of skills I'm going to need for this expedition. Hope that's useful and I'll catch up with you guys later.